Hello everyone, this is Hannah from TaxDome. Today we'll be discussing about conditional logic jumps that can now be triggered by checkbox questions. Our conditions feature makes organizers easier for clients to fill out by hiding non-relevant questions and sections. When you use conditions, clients no longer have to skip what doesn't apply to them. Instead, they just don't see it. But if the client answers something a certain way, a secondary question, section, or text block is then displayed. To use conditions, begin by adding all questions needed in the organizer, both the general ones all clients must answer and the secondary ones that appear when someone responds a particular way. For instance, all clients must be asked this question. What services do you want? We then have the checkboxes 1040 tax return, payroll, and business tax. If a client chooses 1040 tax return, they'll then see a new section displaying a set of secondary question for 1040 tax return service. Same thing when they choose payroll or business tax. Next thing to do is to click the gear button next to the conditional questions. In this organizer, the sections payroll, 1040 tax return, and business tax are the conditional questions. These are the questions that you would like to show only for some clients. Simply click the gear icon, an expanded box will appear, toggle the conditions on, and depending on your needs, you can select the all or any from the mode list. All means the conditional questions will be displayed only when answers to all questions match, and any means the conditional question will be displayed when at least one answer to a question matches. In the question field, select the general question the additional section refers to. So let's select the question, what services do you want? And in the answer field, select the answer that needs to trigger this section to be displayed. So for this payroll section, let's go ahead and select the payroll checkbox as the answer. You'll be selecting questions from the ones you initially entered into the organizer. By default, you can select one. However, you can add more by clicking the add link or delete ones you no longer want by clicking the trash can icon. Also in the answer field, only radio buttons, check boxes, or yes or no answers are available. Click back. And let's also do it for the sections 1040 tax return and business tax organizer. Once you have set up the conditional logic jumps, a green conditions indicator appears to the right of the secondary sections. Hover the mouse over the indicator to see the general question it refers to. Click on the question to jump to it. You will also see an impacts indicator to the right of the general questions all clients must answer. Hover the mouse over the indicator to see the secondary sections it will trigger when a client answers a certain way. Click on the questions to jump to it. For example, business tax. There you go. Once done, click the save button. Let's go ahead and send this organizer to a test account and let's visit the test account later on. Click the plus new button from the left sidebar. Select organizer from the slide out menu. Select the account you want to send the organizer. Select the organizer template, then click create. Now we are currently in the client's account and let's check how it works on their end. This is the organizer that they need to fill out. And as you can see, the sections payroll, 1040 tax return, and business tax are not shown by default. But for example, we answer payroll for the what service do you want question. That would be the time that the client will see the payroll section with questions only for those clients who want the service payroll. This is also what's going to happen if the client chooses the service 1040 tax return or business tax. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching.